This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're back with another Content Creator Program video on Longshot. And before we get into the gameplay, we're going to take a look at my mastery setup here. And I changed it for this test. The left hand side here, pretty standard uh, with some changes. I maxed out courage. I normally put one point in courage, but I decided to go ahead and max this one out. And I normally put only four points in precision, mainly because I use champions that already have a high crit uh, rate and I don't need to max that out. Now on the right hand side here, I'm not putting in any points because for the purposes of this test, we don't need them. I mean, I can add some points here in glass cannon uh, to increase his attack. You know, that's not, terribly bad but uh, I didn't want to use these units up here I'm trying to save my units even though that's not a lot of units they add up and at the bottom here despair is an awesome mastery I always max it out but for this test not needed deep wounds assassin not needed for this test let's look at the defense here this is standard I do that every time but I did not put any points in willpower or coagulate because I'm not running suicides. All right, and finally here, I put in just enough points, 11, on this left-hand side here so that I can get three points mystic dispersion. That's all I have unlocked at this time, and we're gonna see if that's too much for long shot. We'll, we'll see. Uh, three seems to be the sweet spot between control and just being overwhelmed. Uh, but in some fights, I have a feeling that it's still going to be overwhelming. So let's see. So for this test, we're going to go into Act 6, Chapter 3. And we're going to go into this quest here, The World for the People. Uh, a note on the team that I'm going in here with. Let's take a look at the synergies. So we've got this synergy here with Captain America Infinity War. He starts out the fight with five good karma when fighting villain champions. I thought that would be useful. And we also have this one with Rogue, where his special two has a 42% chance to inflict an additional incinerate for each bad karma removed by Fate Seal very good synergy now we've got this other synergy here that i didn't mention earlier in my other videos but check this one out mystic champions deal 30 percent of their attack as direct damage to their opponent when nullifying one of their buffs that seems to be a pretty nice synergy and of course i brought corvus in there's one fight, I think, against Iceman that I brought him in there for just to clear it if we get there. All right, so that's the synergies that I'm going in here with. Now, the path that I'm going to go on is actually a path I've already done. And that's going to be this path here. Red Skull has a lot of armor ups, so he has a lot of buffs. And it's aggression armor. So I'm very curious to see how long shot goes. So well, let's find out. So the purpose of this test is to see what his damage looks like without running suicides, with the mystic dispersion and going up against champions that have a lot of buffs. The aggression armor also adds buffs. You will see long shot nullifying a lot of buffs so he has great utility, great damage. Really impressed with this guy. All right, so you see here, 
I'm um, parry heavy, similar to what I did in the last video. Uh, I do switch over for a little bit to see if the special one spam is actually viable, fun, that sort of thing. And I didn't find it to be as good as the special two. Now, granted, this is still my initial impressions of long shot. I still am learning how to play him effectively. So a lot will be learned later, I'm quite sure. But I want you to see the damage he's doing, and that's without suicides. And he is a rank three. So bear that in mind. And we're in Act 6.3. This is a buffed up Red Skull that we're dealing with here. And we're using the equivalent, roughly, of a 550 long shot. I will definitely be going for the four star. And I recommend anyone who doesn't have him as a four star to go for the four star if you are able to. I think he will be very useful to you. Max him out. And as you can see, he does good damage without suicides. But it is against someone who has a lot of buffs and they are not incinerate immune. So as crazy as Longshot's damage is, bear in mind that he does have those weaknesses. If the champion is incinerate immune, that really kills his damage. So if they're incinerate immune, or if they don't have a lot of buffs, he's not gonna be all that impressive and you're gonna wanna take someone else in uh, over him. All right, so you see here, just look at that damage. Um, but like I said, I'm still learning how to play him but I have been impressed so far. You know, the fact that he's able to do this at rank three just makes me want to get him and take him up to rank five just so I could see the kind of damage he can do. He definitely has his place. Now, as good as this damage was, I was thinking that it was gonna be a little bit more uh, with all of the buffs. However, we keep nullifying a lot of them, I noticed. Uh, I went in here thinking that I would cheese it with him, similar to, I don't know, um, like uh, the aggression uh, regen and cap infinity war, where you just wait, let them build it up, and then you just crush but I wasn't seeing that here, so I don't think that's a uh, good way to do it. But again, we will learn. Uh, you saw there, I fired off the special one. It didn't do a lot of damage. Uh, one of the things that you have to bear in mind when you're playing him is that the good karma, you want him to have max. When he has that max, which is five, that's when you can really go to town. And if they have bad karma, then that's when you see the crazy damage like that. All right, so that's that fight. Uh, the next fight, I'm not uh, going to make you guys sit through. It was Iceman and it was a long fight. Uh, so now we're facing Howard the Duck. And you guys, if you've been following my channel, you know I don't like Howard the Duck. But he nullified all of those buffs. And now we're going to see, you know, what kind of damage he can do. And once again, he is a rank three. I'm not running suicides. He's not suicide friendly. Uh, so he is, uh, he will take damage from poison, bleed. And the recoil damage, since he has to spam his specials, just look at these fights and see how many times I'm firing off my special. That should let you know right there 
that he is not a good candidate for suicides. And that may reduce his usefulness to a lot of players. Uh, for example, for me, since I run with Corvus and Ghost uh, in the majority of the content I do, then I run suicides full time. I'm in the arena probably 90% of the time in this game. It's the game mode that I play the most. So I am always running suicides. Where will I use him with the suicides? If I want to do max damage, then I'm going to get eaten alive by the recoil damage. So if you're like me and you're running a lot of suicides, he's not going to be all that useful. But if you don't run suicides, he is a very good pickup. Now, normally when we go up against someone or if I see someone with a lot of buffs, we think Ronin. Ronin, and I mentioned this in my last video, he does more damage, the more buffs they have, and his stun lasts longer, the more buffs they have. So there's a lot of cheese that you can do with Ronin. You know, if they have a lot of buffs, you can fire off your special one, and that stun will last long enough for you to get to another special one, possibly a special two. And you can basically stun lock your opponents. And you can do that with a low ranked Ronin. He needs to be awakened for that though, but you can do it with a low ranked Ronin. People have done content with a three star Ronin that some with their five stars couldn't do with other champions. But with a long shot here, he's gonna be good if you aren't running suicides and if you are going up against a champion that has a lot of buffs. And Howard the Duck, definitely. Now, the fight did go longer than I thought. Uh, something else that I want to bring to your attention is his power rate. You'll notice that he does gain power pretty quickly. It's impressive, all right? Uh, and we looked over his abilities in the first look video. And so you'll see why he's able to do that. Now, you saw that. I fired off a special one. Wanted to see the kind of damage it can do. And his special one is legit. Okay, so here we go again. Now that one did not do a lot of damage because I did not have my good karma buff up. You know, I wasn't maxed out on that. Uh, so you have to keep that in mind if you want to do max damage. All right, so we're coming to the end of this here. Boom, down he goes. Now, I've given my thoughts throughout the video and in my last video on Longshot. Uh, but in summary, I like him. I think he has a solid place on your roster. He is great, insane against champions that have a lot of buffs. He does crazy damage, even as a rank three without suicides. He's not suicide friendly. So if you're somebody that runs suicides a lot, Bear that in mind. Now, we have never spoken about his defensive capabilities. You see all this crazy damage, right? His special one cannot be missed or auto-blocked. So if you're fighting against him with Ghost and you phase, you need to bear that in mind. You can get wrecked hard by long shot. Now, his abilities can be played around. You don't want him to get maxed out Karma. He will lose one karma if he is attacked while stunned. So if you can parry and hit him, you can keep him away from getting max karma. Because once he gets that max karma, it's a bad day for you. So he has some abilities that will make him a good defender, but they're not so overpowered that he is impossible. So... I'm looking forward to seeing how he does in the contest. Now, as a disclaimer, I don't know for sure if they're going to be adjusting him 
before he's released or not. We've been discussing it, and what I read so far, they've been saying that they're keeping him the way that he is. But we know that they've been doing a lot of the rebalancing and things like that. So I really don't know. I can't give you any 100% surety that he won't be adjusted after he comes to the contest. So bear that in mind as well as you decide to go for this champion or not. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.